story time! Yay! Exactly what you guys want. A single guy on Valentine's Day talking about why he's single. Now before you guys hate on me for ranting on about just being single, like who cares? Before you guys hate on me for that, hear me out. I just want to say that I'm saying that I'm single because of these reasons. I want to back up everyone who is single on Valentine's Day, who doesn't have a Valentine's, but I want you guys to know that it's okay. Even if you guys don't have the reasons that I have for being single, that it's okay to be single. With that, I'm gonna give you guys a couple reasons why I'm single on Valentine's Day and pretty much every Valentine's Day the past like 19 years of my life. I've had relationships, I've been in relationships, they were great, I've learned a lot from them, um, a lot of them ended, all of them ended pretty much actually since I am single now. And with those, I've learned a lot of things about myself, about people, about relationships. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. So the first and probably most important reason why I'm single and why I'm remaining single is probably because of quarantine. That's probably due to the fact that we can't go out, we can't be as social as we previously were. We can't go um, out and eat and meet people. We can't go um, on dates exactly unless you guys show like COVID testing. Like, like would you guys go on a date uh, with a person like right now without seeing their COVID results or I mean, I wouldn't and like meeting people is so much easier when you guys are going to class together. You guys run into each other on the streets or if you just see a cute person and you go up to them and like, Hey, you're really beautiful. Can I get your number? Like, no, no, nobody wants that. Like get six feet, please. Like, come on. Nobody wants someone to go up to them in their face and introduce themselves or um, at least I don't think so. I think schools being closed is another huge reason during quarantine that I can't meet people, I can't socialize as much. I'm being honest guys, I'm like socially like rusty. Is that even a thing? Like I actually get tired when I go to meetings or parties or going out, um, at like outdoor dining or whatever, just a group of people. I come home and I'm like tired. I'm like, why did I just hang out with so many people? Like I get socially tired. Um, nothing wrong with people or anyone. Um, it's just like hanging out with a lot of people or meeting people. It's really tiring now since I've been stuck at home for quite a long time. My job uh, working at a restaurant previously, I actually just quit but we can probably talk about that in another video. It requires me to talk to people as a server um, and that was perfectly fine. But all in all, I can't really go out and meet people. I've never tried any dating apps like Tinder or Bumble or anything like that. Should I guys, let me know. I, I, I don't think I should. I'm not really desperate or looking for a relationship. So um, I don't think Tinder's for me. If you guys do use Tinder, I'm not saying you guys are desperate or anything. You guys do you. Don't take it wrong, guys. Now let's say that there was no quarantine. This sickness never happened. We never had to shut down. We're still in school. Uh, we're going about our daily lives, meeting people, talking to people. Let's say that was the case, right? The second reason that I'm single would be even without quarantine, I have pretty high standards. And the way I said that kind of made me sound like I was an asshole or like I'm expecting too much. It's just that I feel like I haven't met someone that has understood my level of ambition or growth. And that's a big part of being able to connect and grow together. And I think I just haven't found that person. Um, nothing against all my exes. They were great people. I would have never dated them if they weren't great people. It's just that we didn't exactly click on our goals and everything around growing up and um, like we're young. So there's such a big future ahead of us. And um, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm planning for. That's what I'm working towards. A big part of why I am single is because I haven't exactly met the girl that has made me excited, that has intrigued me, that has like just really understood what I want and maybe agrees or maybe wants to work the same goals. If you guys don't know, 
I am a real estate agent. Um, stay tuned on what brokerage I signed with. I'm really into working out, playing basketball, any sports, honestly. I play volleyball. The uh, only sport I literally don't play or don't want to learn how to play is soccer. And the biggest thing for me is a, a female, a person, a, a soul, a human being that can understand finance has watched a TED talk, at least one Graham Stephan video. A lot of ABGs are really, really attractive. It's just really not what I'm looking for right now. It's not what I need. Maybe I want them and it's just such a thirst trap. Like, like sometimes I just really Jesus Christ, excuse me. I'm gonna have to pick that up. Anyways, me being single is due in part to not finding the right person yet. I haven't found the girl of my dreams, so to speak. Now, let's say for a second that there is no quarantine and I found the girl of my dreams. There's still another problem. With my lifestyle, with the amount that I work, that I want to work, and that I enjoy working. I rarely have time after spending family, eating, sleeping. There is very little time that I have to go on dates, to spend with a girl. And I know way before you guys say, if you really love someone, you're gonna make time. I understand guys, but what I'm trying to say is that everything that I do right now is important to me and that requires a lot of time. Spending time working, spending time acquiring assets, building multiple streams of income, spending time with my family, and spending time with my friends. And those are important to me. If I have to lessen that, any of those right now at least, and I know it would negatively impact my life, so instead of trying to sacrifice those things for someone, I want to be able to work right now and have enough multiple streams of income to be able to not have to work as much, to maybe dedicate more of that time to that one person. Me personally, I want to give a lot of time and devotion to the person I love, and I lack that right now, so I know that. and. I can't find myself devoting time and effort into someone right now um, enough to where they're happy and that makes me happy seeing them happy. Um, and I don't think that I can do that. I don't think I can provide that time and attention, but that is another reason that I'm single. I know, pretty boring, but let's say that I have time that I've met the girl of my dreams, that I, we aren't in quarantine, there's still another problem. And that problem is money. I just don't have enough dough to make bread. That doesn't even make sense. Why did I say that? That doesn't even make sense. I, I just don't have enough money to support a relationship. Like I said, when I date, I want to be able to go places, spend money, go on vacation. I am a hopeless romantic. I would love to hop on a plane and fly to Paris, Hawaii. I'm 19, yes. And I know those are big, like, vacational ideas. Support local businesses, by the way, guys. Um, we're in Philly and a lot of businesses are hard hit right now. So go out there. I just don't have the amount of money that I want to be able to have a happy relationship where I'm happy and maybe possibly to make them happy. Not saying that I want to date someone that value money like that I have money. Like I honestly would want them to have their own money. I also want my significant other to be successful. I want to pay for everything, but I can't do that if I'm not successful yet. So I'm working on it and that is why I'm single. Now I'm gonna give you guys another scenario. Let's say I have the perfect girl, I have money, we're not in quarantine and I have time. We still have another problem and that problem is that I don't think I can treat a girl a woman the way I want to treat them. I don't think that I'm mentally mature or mentally ready to love someone for the simple fact that I don't think I know how 
and I don't think I know how to love myself. Saying that I don't know how to treat a female, a woman, the way I want to, is not saying that I don't want to. It's just saying that I don't know how, and I'm still learning, and I don't think it's fair to repeat my mistakes of dating people just for the sake of dating. I think that I need to work on myself first, then be able to express and truly, truly feel what it means to care for someone, to love someone, and to want to have a future with them and live the rest of your life, my life with them. And I think that takes a lot of love and growing and learning to do. And I don't think I've reached that yet. It, it's hard. I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you guys, it was hard for me. I'm single because I've made mistakes. I appreciate every single person that has invested their time into learning and loving me. And I just wanna say happy Valentine's Day to everyone, even though um, I know a lot of people are alone right now. And if you guys have someone you love, um, I want you guys to pause this video, stop this video, end this video, click off, I don't know, whatever you want, and go tell them how much you appreciate them. Even though I think that Valentine's Day is just an American capitalistic idea to promote spending money, I think that you guys should enjoy this day of the year. And um, with that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, click subscribe, and um, I'll make more boring videos hype videos, informational videos for you guys. So with that guys, stay humble and stay hungry. Peace out, I'm gonna go eat my Popeyes now. Whew, I wasn't lying guys, stay hungry. I got Popeyes, right? And the freaking straw is closed. How am I supposed to... You guys don't know, I like my fast food with sweet tea. So burgers, fries, whatever, I'll get sweet tea with it. Um, and we're actually, I didn't actually think I was making this part of the video for this, but my Popeyes came in time. So um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the new, um, I think the fish fry chicken burger, what? It's the new fish sandwich from Popeyes right here. Fish sandwich from Popeyes. Um, hopefully it's good. I actually, I actually got, the chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich too, um, because I'm a fat ass, so, you know, I'm actually trying to gain weight, um, you know, gotta get these guns in, oh, I know you guys can't see under my sweater, but I've been working out, so let's check it out, of course we had to get the fries too, before I leave you guys, let's, let's check the fish fry out, okay, okay, looks wise, it looks like a pretty, crispy fish sandwich. Um, let's take a bite into it. Mmm. Right away, so crunchy, pretty salty. You can definitely right away f taste the fish. Like, no, no argument about it. It's definitely fish. And, to be honest guys, it's pretty good for a fish sandwich. It's more expensive than the chicken sandwich. And that's where I have a problem because I like the chicken sandwich better still. This should not be costing five dollars. You guys can check this out for yourself. I'm not getting paid to do this, so 